Hi, I'm Megan Campbell. And I'm Casey Hudecki. Welcome, welcome to, to our Toro Women photo shoot. <laughs> Today's shoot was a little different. Um, I guess we can call it Toro Women because we photographed two girls together. Uh, one of them names Casey. She's a stunt girl. And um, the other girl's name is Megan and she works at a comic book store. We shot them today together because we thought it would have like a little bit different dynamic. Because Casey and Megan are part of a blog called Hardcore Nerdity, I wanted to tie in elements of comic books and comic books essentially go through a few phases and one of the phases is the sketch where it's black and white and the next phase is the colorist goes in and, and fills in all the colors. So we took that idea, create the set as a sketch, like a comic book that before went to the colorist. So it was all done in black and white with these really cool lines and very simple, but with like the right amount of detail. Because the background was black and white, we needed to have an extra layer of color. And we did that by Jessica, our stylist, implementing a lot of really interesting poppy color in the clothing. So when they were standing in front of the black background, it added just the right amount of contrast to make them pop. So for the first look, we shot Casey in the washroom downstairs. So it had a checkered floor and we draped this shower curtain that was yellow so it had a little bit of color and we lit it from above with all natural lighting, all tungsten lighting, and it gave it like a really warm quality. We had her with a gun on the counter to kind of play in with that naughty housewife that has a dual life as a superhero at night. And she's putting on nail polish, she's powdering her skin, but uh, she's got a bandage with blood because she just fought this big monster the night before, which I thought was really cute. She was able to have a lot of fun with it and, and be this really eccentric character and give me all these really sort of evil and coy looks that she did so well and her eyes were like cat eyes. It's just like she was up to no good. She did that really, really well. The second look took place in another section of the studio and we created an, a bedroom and we had the really subtle colored sheets that, that really uh, added a nice color to the whole set and we put Megan in a cat suit that she actually made herself and she looked stunning in it. Unfortunately, I feel bad for her. It was really, really hot and it was kind of hot in the studio. Um, but she fought through it and, and, and we got amazing shots. We actually integrated the whip as well. We sort of wrapped the whip around her and, and then we had this gem that they had brought that we put in the set as if she was just like kind of looking at this gem that she stole from this like museum. We created the story and the stories helped because it got the girls into character and, and they needed that. The girls needed to kind of create this fantasy world because that's what they do. They, they live in these fantasy worlds which is really beautiful and adorable. So I was really happy to play off that. Relax a little bit too. Yeah, perfect. There it is. Another story that we created in the second look was to have Megan coming home late at night as Catwoman that has her, her reward, which is this jewel, and is tucking herself into bed. And we had her in this lingerie and, and Megan just like shined and she looks so sexy and, and every, every single look that she gave me was like really, really beautiful. And we transitioned because we wanted to show the dual layer and we wanted to have remnants of their past life. So we took off the cat suit and we laid it beside the bed. And it was there and, and with the whip around it and the gloves and her little like cat suit hat, which I obviously tried on, which is so much fun. Mm -hmm. My little puppy was in the shot, his little debut. And um, I'd like to because it's like, you know, Catwoman has this little pet that's like so perfect and, and sweet and innocent and has no idea that his owner is like the savage street fighter or something. <laughs> It's like a baby. Just give it a Style little, the dog. <laughs> the third and the last look was really, really fun. We used a lot of weapons in this one and we had the girls interacting. The girls had these huge swords that were sort of ridiculous to have to cut pie, but um, we integrated them and I would count to three and then she would like swing back the sword and like go to like hit Megan um, as she was like reaching for the last piece of pie with her pinky, which she did so well, so sexy with like this purple hat that um, Jess found. And this one was so much fun to see the color actually translate into the shots because it was all really black and white and then you see like this red and like this purple and like this beautiful green and the chairs were like, had like an awesome color. So everything just tied in really well. And then so the story continued and they're fighting over the pie and all of a sudden we thought, how are we gonna end this story? And we ended the story that the pie falls on the ground and the girls are sad and they're sitting there with this pie that they can't eat now. And um, it was just the perfect way to like end it on like a high because um, we had so much fun the whole day. You can have pie. Have the pie. I didn't even want the pie. I don't even want it anymore. 
eat your stupid pie. Fat ass fit in your cat suit. <laughs> So overall today was a lot of fun and having two girls on set was such, it was a different thing for the Toro woman, but it was really nice to sort of have these two personalities to play with and the girls just took it all the way and it was really cool to watch these huge comic sets come to life. Because the girls love comics, it was like their fantasy coming true that they were comic characters in real life. All in all, it was a lot of fun and I think that's really gonna show through in this Toro woman, women, shoot. <laughs>